Hey everybody, it's Drewski McGillicuddy, and it is Halloween Eve, Devil's Night. So what perfect time to talk about horror movies to watch on Halloween than right now. Now, I have made a very similar video to this, movies to show to the kids on Halloween. I didn't go back and rewatch that, so if I happen to duplicate any of my answers in that video, you will hear the sound. Actually, that's not true. Uh, I don't care. I'm not going to go back and watch it. But here are movies for you to watch on Halloween. Our first movie is Ty West, House of the Devil. And this movie came out way back when I worked at Blockbuster in 2009. And I had never heard anything about this movie. It just manifested out of thin air. There it was on the shelf, all by its little lonesome. And just the cover art alone was enough to pique my interest and then I took it home, and what I got was a movie unlike anything I had ever seen. For one, it looks like they literally got a time machine and went back in time to 1980 to film the entire thing. And then the movie starts out, you don't necessarily know what it's about, you just know the title is House of the Devil. And we meet this girl who's having financial trouble. So she picks up this babysitting gig for this old couple. That are way too old to be having a baby. Come to find out she's not going to be watching a baby. There's an elderly woman that she's supposedly going to watch. But not to worry. She's just going to stay in her room. Basically we're paying you uh, whatever it's going to cost for your security deposit. For one night. One night's going to get you you know, your first place all on your own. But once she gets to the babysitting gig, she starts to slowly notice that things aren't exactly as they seem. Something is awry. I know there are not enough people that have seen this movie, so I don't want to get into deep spoilers. But you can imagine, it's a full moon, she's babysitting for these creepy old people in this creepy old house. Only one of several... <laughs> Wait, don't worry about what happens, alright? I'm not going to tell you what happens. I want you to go watch this movie tomorrow night on October 31st. And in our next movie that I recommend you watch on Halloween. Now I know I've mentioned this movie before. Everybody probably loves this movie. Or if they don't, maybe they're a fan of the first one and they never really got around to this one. Or maybe they just don't look at this one as in the light. It's the same one as the first one. Don't worry about none of that. I'm rambling. I'm talking about Creep Show 2 people. Now, a lot of people prefer the first creep show to this one, which that's fine, because I can understand that one's directed by George A. Romero and was written mostly by Stephen King. But Creep Show 2 is directed by the guy who did all of George Romero's editing. So he took note from George Romero and put these three stories together. And they're perfect for Halloween night. So why not watch Creep Show 2 on Halloween night? Because you have Chief Woodenhead, which when I was a child, I didn't necessarily appreciate this one that much. I thought it was slightly boring, but now that I look at it, I see that there's actually a story here. There's drama here. The shopkeep, you know, has been helping this town, you know, basically his entire life. The Native Americans around him owe him money, and they give him more than money. And then the Na oh God, don't worry about that. <laughs> Fuck it, Jesus Christ! Some terrible things happen to the shopkeep at the hand of one of the tribe's people's grandsons, and Chief Woodenhead jumps into action and goes and hunts down all these people that did this wrong and kills them in the most creative and gratuitous ways. 
Who wants not to love about that? Then you have the raft, which is probably my favorite segment. Probably one of my favorite pieces of horror ever filmed. We got these 80s cool dudes and their chicks and they're going out to a raft to smoke some doobies that they wrapped up in a little baggie and put a pill bottle and wrapped in another little baggie and stuffed down his uh, banana hammock. But anyway, they get out to the raft and one of them notices there's this pile of garbage bags floating on the water. Well, I used to always think it was a pile of garbage bags back when I watched it on VHS, but watching it on Blu-ray, let me tell you, I don't know what the fuck that shit is. And neither does anybody else. But what we do know is if it touches you, it will eat your skin and pull you into the water to give you what seems like the most painful death in horror movie history. I mean, we get some gruesome kills in this segment alone. And like I said, it is one of my... No more interruptions. So they're on the raft and they can't get away because, you know, it's a fucking horror movie. You ain't getting away from this shit. And it's perfect for watching on Halloween. This movie is a triple threat because the third and final installment is The Hitchhiker, which I used to not be able to actually watch this one. Now, let me give you a little backstory. Uh, I grew up watching horror films. I watched The Exorcist when I was like eight or nine. Didn't phase me at all. Didn't scare me whatsoever. Not one bit. But I watched this segment like this. Pretty much for the majority of my life that I actually watched the whole thing. And it's still probably one of the scariest things ever put to cinema. This woman is cheating on her husband. To give you a little backstory on the lady... She's driving home from cheating, and she runs over this hitchhiker, and then she leaves him for dead, and he won't leave her alone for the rest of the uh, segment. Every time she looks out the window, there he is. Every time she looks in the back seat, there he is. She gets out of the car, there he is, no matter where she goes, there he is, and it's just haunted me for 30 years. 30 years, probably, this movie has haunted me. So, I mean, what better movie to watch on Halloween night than Creepshow 2? Moving on to our next movie for y'all to watch on Halloween night, The Autopsy of Jane Doe. Now, I actually just refreshed myself with this little gem of a movie. And a lot, a lot of people, I've never heard hardly, no, no. I have never heard anybody talk about this movie except for me. Uh, the Autopsy of Jane Doe is about this crime scene that had happened. And they discover this woman buried in the basement. And she ain't got a scratch on her. So she they take them over to the local morgue. Or they take her over to the local morgue. And we have Brian Cox and Emil Hirsch. And they give excellent, excellent performances in one of the most unique and thought-provoking horror films I have ever seen. Basically, they start to perform an autopsy on this Jane Doe cadaver. And the more they cut away and discover stuff, the more weird and creepy shit starts happening until they finally notice that it's her doing this. There's a dead body laying on a cooling board, and she is causing all kinds of mayhem, and never once... Does she move? Well, never, no. You'll see. Don't worry about that. But worry about the fact that the performances in this movie are incredible. And the atmosphere, I mean, you couldn't ask for a better atmosphere or something to watch on Halloween night. And that's why I'm saying, hey, why don't you watch this movie on Halloween night? Uh, you have a marathon. Oh, listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Point is, from beginning to end, this is just extremely engaging, and once we finally get to the finale, it's just, you didn't see it coming, and you don't see a lot of, uh, you don't see a lot of movies like this. <laughs> so, so watch it on Halloween. That's, it's, it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. And it's absolutely the perfect movie to watch on Halloween. 
All right, that's all I got. I'm, I'm tired, of, tired of trying. I've been standing here for an hour and 15 minutes, and you're only going to get to watch like 15 minutes of this shit. I got to go. It's past my... I'm not wearing my watch. Don't worry about that. Worry about clicking all these buttons, donating to my Patreon, because I really need to borrow a dollar because this fucking Halloween ends mask is outrageously overpriced. I mean, it's got mold on it and shit. Don't worry about that. Worry about getting the fuck out of my house.